Best Streamlabs Settings for Unreliable Internet Knowing Streamlabs Settings for Unreliable Internet improves stream stability and viewer experience. Now here is how we are going to get this done. So first things first, let's go ahead and open our browser. And here in our browser, we're going to do a speed test first. So just go ahead and click this one right here. And then you're going to have to wait for this one to basically run. Now the most important thing that we are going to be looking at is the upload speed. Now as you can see I have a very good upload speed but say for example what we got is only about 10-12 Mbps. Now what you are going to do is basically add this one say for example if you are only getting like 10. Now what you are going to do is basically uh, multiply it here so say for example the first one was 12 and then 10 and then 11. Yep just something like that until you get it to 10 times. Now, say for example, after adding everything, what you got was around 112. And then you're going to divide this one by 10. And now you will have an internet or upload speed of 11.2 Mbps. Now, now why we are doing that one? Because when you are streaming, you're not only doing or spending the upload speed for the stream. There's also some things that you are doing in the background. Say for example, if you're playing some music, if you're playing games and whatever it is, then you are going to need some internet for those as well. Now here you have for Facebook Live, I'm gonna go ahead and try to use a Facebook as a reference here. Now, what you are going to do is basically look for the internet speed needed here. All right, say so this one, for example, is what we are going to use as a reference. Now we're going to go ahead and look for Facebook. Now here we are, say for example, getting about 5 Mbps. So we can only stream about 30 FPS here on Facebook, 720p, 30 FPS. So we're going to go here and then we're just going to go ahead and just follow this one right here. So for the resolution, the first one is here. I'm just going to put it here at the side. And then we're going to go ahead and open our settings. Now we're going to hit output. And here in our output, we're going to go ahead and change some things. For example, for the encoder, we're going to change this one to this one. And then for the rate control, it's going to be CBR. And let's go ahead and scroll down 30 FPS. Again, we're going to need about a video bit rate of 1,500 to 4,000. So let's just go ahead and set this one to 2,000. I think that is going to be a bare minimum here. And then for the keyframe interval, you have it here, two seconds. And then we're going to go ahead and try to change the resolution here in the video. So you have here the base canvas. This is my monitor. It's 1080p. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, 1280 to 720p for the output or scale resolution. And then for the downscale filter, I'm going to use by cubic. FPS type is going to be common FPS values at 30 FPS. So yep, that's basically everything that we'll have to do. Now another one here is a bitrate. I forgot about this earlier. Yes, set this one to 44.1 kilohertz. It's going to be mostly used by other platforms and streaming platforms in general. Now another thing is here in the audio. Now we're going to change this one to 128. As you can see, it is preferred. And we're going to do the same thing for all the others. Say for example, I'm going to use three audio tracks. Then I'm going to set all of them to 128. Now, as you can see here, the audio bitrate recommendation is only 128. And then if you are going to try to increase that one, make sure to not go beyond 256. So yep, that's basically everything that we'll have to change. I'm just going to hit done. And now I'm ready for going live on Facebook. So yep, congratulations everybody, that is how you're going to get it done. Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.